hey guys welcome to next selenium tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to say how to do right click on any web application right so before moving on to that uh, programming let's see what is right click in any web application right so let's take an email uh, gmail uh, that we have that inbox so here we can see two different uh, right click so one is browser specific okay if you are clicking on any uh, web application on a uh, without any element right so browser will give you multiple options like back forward or reload save us these are the browser uh, specific operations like how it is there that uh, scroll down or scroll up or your maximize minimize close uh, a refresh button back or forward so these are all the different browser specific operations the same way if you are clicking on uh, right click to uh, any uh, web application it will give you multiple options right so this is not the right click that we have to uh, look for so what we are talking about right so in your web application if you are clicking on any web element so it will give you a different options say for example if you are in gmail go to your inbox and click right click on any uh, mail so it will give you multiple options right so move to tab uh, reply reply all forward or forward as attachment so these are the multiple options that operation that we can do using your right click so this is the operation that we have to do using uh, our selenium so this is uh, supported in any web application if you if there is any requirement for the web application right see so these are the different multiple operations then if you take other uh, web application also so here you can see this is the browser specific uh, right click operations and the same way if you click on this uh, button uh, right click right so it will give you multiple uh, different options right so edit cut copy paste and delete so these are the operation that we can do using your right click but if you are uh, right click uh, if you do right click on the other uh, web element it will not give you the same options right so how can we do your uh, right click on uh, your web application and do uh, click on any um, options like edit cut copy paste right so let us see using our uh, web application right so uh, selenium uh, provides uh, uh, no methods directly that uh, we can uh, use a uh, right click but selenium provides actions class and using that we can do uh, right click on the uh, web application the first method that it provides is context clicks without any parameter the second one is context click with web web application what is the target web application that we are um, doing right click right so indirectly both are uh, same but there's a slight difference let's see the uh, how we can do that right so before to that right guys if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel right so uh, selenium provides actions class uh, so let us declare that Class. So here we have to pass that driver. Right. Let us take this uh, particular web element, uh, uh, this web application. So in this web application, let us see how to do right click on this uh, right click me button. Right. So let us take that particular uh, find element which I have already done and uh, do right click on that web application right so to do uh, any uh, right click on this web application let's take the context click right so context click we have two different methods it is overloaded so the one is without any now uh, arguments and the second one is with taking the web element as a argument right so both are the same but there's a slight difference so what this part without without argument taking so this will perform a uh, contest click from the where the mouse is currently pointing to but if you are going for a, a contest click on the uh, target web element this will move to the particular element and then do the right click right so if you are using this context click without arguments what we have to do first we have to move to the particular web element and then do the right click right let's see first one what we should do we should do move to particular element move to web element so what is the web element we have given that's a target web, web element and then we have to do the context click right so now what we have done we have done the context click so once we have done the context click 
so we wanted to click on any of the options that provides let's see copy so what we can do we can use the send piece method for this and then we can do arrows dot down so we wanted to do copy so we have to do arrow down for three times so edit cut and copy so we have let's copy this for three times so now what now what this will do this will do three times arrow down and then build this action and then perform so now what we have done we have done right click and then press arrow down three times and then finally we have to <coughs> press the right click sorry press the enter button let us do pressing the exit button it should be enter now what we have done uh, so we have done right click and then press mouse arrow like one two three and then press enter so what this has done this is giving the click copy of the alert alert box and then we have to click on ok button let's do that what we have to do so driver dot sys2 dot alert we want to to get text of this and then print what exactly it is giving And then let's close the alert box. So alert gives you accept or dismiss. So here we have to do accept. So this is the one way of doing the right click. Right. So let's wait for some time to do how it goes. Let's give print or sleep for three seconds. So this is the one way of doing the right click. Let's close the browser. This is the first way. What is the second way that we have seen is uh, same using the same actions class. So we can do a right click or just click on particular web element. You can directly give the web element. You can do right click. So once we have done the right click, so we have to pr um, click on that build. Uh, uh, this what this will do. This will do the right click. So after that, what we should do? We should uh, click on the element. Uh, what is the element which is in the right click? So let's click on the cut option. So it is giving that. Uh, let's press it and take the export of this cut so first for using the first context we have done uh, clicked on copy so now we have to do cut right so this is the second option let us see that so this is going to be a span element with text as cut text should be cut so that is the one we have to do Let's take this particular web element. So we have to find out this and then we have to click on this. Driver dot uh, find element by export what we have copied. Dot click. This is going to be a normal click operation. So this is going to be the that one. So this is going to click on your uh, cut option and then let's uh, see the same uh, what we have done over here. Let's uh, take whatever it is in the uh, uh, alert box and then we have to close it. Right. So let's wait uh, for some more moment before moving on to here. Let's wait for two seconds. Right. So these are the uh, two different ways that we can uh, use to do right click on your web element. Right. So first one is the uh, without any argument uh, that context click and the second one is overloaded method of context click with one parameter right so both will do the same uh, but the way how we are doing is different and the second uh, difference over here right so here we are going to use the uh, keyboard actions like uh, arrow down down and then we are going to press the enter key 
but over here on the second method we are going to directly use the web element to click on the uh, right click operations right so these are the two different uh, variations that we have put in here right so you can either use your uh, keyboard actions or directly you can use the selenium provide um, facilities like find element and then click method both will all works but some of the application will not support uh, your click operation directly so in that case you can go for arrow down and arrow down and plus, uh, pressing the enter button or return key so any of any any one you can use it so this is the two different ways right so let us try running and see what will happen It opens the web application. Let's see. It's clicked on right click and it has to accept the alert box. Wait for some more time. This is going to be a directly overloaded method context click. Right. So you can see over here whatever it has uh, given the alert box, it is printing it. So that is the thought of this get text method. And here also get text method it is giving. Right. So it is how it is. So first it is clicked on copy and it is getting the text of click copy so that is the first way first one that we have done copy the second method is clicking on that cut option and it is taking the click cut right this is the second option that we have seen putting on using get text method right so this is the two different uh, uh, methods that selenium provides using actions class to do uh, your uh, right click or context click on any web application right so if your web application uh, supports a uh, uh, click method directly on your uh, right click operation then you can do it otherwise you can use your uh, keyboard actions right so arrow down uh, using your uh, keyboard and press the enter button so these are the two different variations that we can use in your web application right so that's all from this video guys so if, if you love watching my video and it is helpful for you please like my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys thank you